Reading is something that I love to do, and as a teacher, it's something that I place a lot of importance on. It's well known that people are spending less time reading and more time scrolling through their phone and social media or watching videos instead. Even though we have access to millions of books on our phones and on our iPads and on our Kindles, it feels as though we are actually reading less instead of more. I have a question for you. When was the last time you actually spent time sitting down and reading a book? For some people, that's going to be a hard question to answer, but that's something that I want to change. From my own experience talking to people around me, like friends, family, and colleagues, one of the major factors in the decline of reading is people just find it difficult to sit down and to pick up a book and just to start reading. There are so many distractions in our lives that it's becoming increasingly difficult to actually just sit there with a book in front of you and just to read without checking your phone or checking what's happening outside. This video is going to change that by giving you some tips on how to become a better reader. The first step to becoming a better reader is to actually choose what you want to read. There are so many different books and different genres out there that it can be difficult to actually commit to just one thing. If this is something that you do struggle with, you can ask yourself three questions. Do I want to read for knowledge or for entertainment? Am I looking for escapism? And am I curious about a book that I've seen in the bestsellers list for a few months now? Answering these questions will give you a push in the right direction. If you're looking to read for enjoyment you're more likely to go down the fiction route instead of the non-fiction and if you're looking to gain knowledge and to learn new things you're more likely to go down the non-fiction route. If you're looking for a little bit of escapism you're more likely to go down the genre route such as sci-fi, fantasy and romance. That personally isn't my favourite genre so I tend to stay away from them. If you're just looking to read a few books off the bestsellers list then you're not really going to be looking at any in particular genres. You're just going to be picking and choosing books from the bestsellers lists that you're looking at. Choosing the right book is the most important thing you can do. If you aren't interested in a book or a genre it's just going to push you away from reading which is the complete opposite of what we're trying to do. Before picking up a book it's important to set a goal or to set a promise for yourself that you need to stick to. It can be as simple as setting a goal for reading for five minutes or for reading the whole chapter. It's completely up to you but make sure that it is manageable and it's something that you can actually achieve every day. Giving yourselves these goals are going to keep you motivated every day to read even if it's just for a couple of minutes. Some people I know very well build their reading into their daily schedule so they will read in the morning while they're having their breakfast or they'll read for a little bit at lunchtime if they have an hour long lunch they might take five minutes to read or they read before bedtime. Personally I always try to read before bedtime because it acts as like a natural detox from the blue light that our phones give off so it just relaxes me down and gets me ready to go to sleep. It's completely up to you when you read though but as long as you're doing it every day that's the most important thing. One of the worst things you can do whenever you read is to actually start reading a book that you have no interest in whatsoever. This really doesn't benefit you in any way and actually does more harm than good. If you're not into a book or you don't like whatever book you're reading, just close it. Nobody's going to ask why you closed it or why you didn't finish a book. Nothing will derail you quicker than a book that you're just not into. I do it all the time and it actually makes me more productive with my reading and makes me a better reader because then I can go and move on to things that I actually want to read instead of being stuck on a book which is just dragging on and on and on. Reading more deeply is all about actively engaging in what you're reading. It's really important that when we read, we take our time with it. There are no prizes for finishing a book or for reading a chapter in a couple of minutes. It's all about going at your own pace so that you can absorb what you're actually reading. To read deeply, we just need to slow down and take our time. Some of the things you can do to read more deeply are to go back and reread whenever you feel yourself starting to skim paragraphs or to skim pages. Keep a dictionary nearby to look up unfamiliar words that you may need a little bit of clarification on. Actively reread, especially especially with some of the non-fiction books out there which can be a little bit confusing at times and to use a highlighter or sticky notes to highlight key notes and key information from any book that you are reading. By doing these things and to begin to start reading more deeply you will improve on your recall and your understanding of what books are actually telling you regardless of what genre or regardless of if they're non-fiction or fiction. So you're now reading a little deeper. The next thing to do is to read more critically. This is something that you need to do a lot in this day and age because there's so much fake news and so many sources out there that claim to be legit when they're just not. To read more critically there are a few things that I recommend doing. First is to stop and ask yourself questions about what you have just read. Does it make sense? How do I know where this information came from? Things like that. You can also consider your own opinions about what you've just read. So do you agree or disagree? Why do you think that? What's your opinion of what you've just read? It's always important to come up with opinions of what you've read because then you understand what you've read a little bit better. And you can also think about what makes the thing that you've just read a little bit more interesting than all the other stuff. Is it a new concept that's been introduced? Is it a new character? Always think about why you're reading what you're reading and why it makes it interesting. By engaging with your reading more and by becoming more critical with your reading, you can start to understand what you're reading a little bit better and get a better insight into whatever 
thing you're reading, whether it's a book, a magazine, or a news article. By reading more deeply and more critically, you'll find yourself thinking about the book that you're reading or the newspaper article that you're reading, and you may even pick up more bits of knowledge than you thought you might have whenever you first started reading it. Reading is something that is personal to every single person. We have to read a book by ourselves to actually form an opinion of what we have just read. This informs our decision about whether we want to read similar books or whether we want to read something completely different. One thing that people love to do whenever they finish reading a book is to talk to other people about it. People love to talk about what they loved about a book, what they hated, and what they find interesting, and what they're a little bit confused on. People literally love to talk about anything and everything that they have just read. You can join in on these discussions in a few ways. First of all, there's loads of good book forums and book blogs out there that you can get involved with. Goodreads is one that I would personally recommend, and there's also Reddit as well. You can literally go onto there, read lots of reviews, read lots of opinions, and respond to people who may have a different or a similar opinion to you. In this day and age, social media is such a big thing as well. You can go and follow any author that you want and kind of engage with conversations with them. Talking about what you've just read with people forces you to have an opinion and forces you to think about what you're reading, and it's one of the most useful activities that you can do. Maybe somebody has a different idea or has picked up a different concept than you, which you may want to explore yourself. And that all comes from engaging in conversation with other people about what you've just read. When you finish a book, that doesn't have to be the end of your relationship with that book. It's always useful to stay in touch and to stay engaged with each book that you've read. Even if it's something really, really small like following the author on Twitter or following them on Instagram or wherever it may be. You can also stay engaged with some of the forums that you can find online as well. A few other things that you can do to stay engaged with books, authors and subjects are to start a reading journal or blog where you write down your thoughts and opinions about what you've just read. Read for breadth, so that basically means reading around the subject that you've just read about or reading similar books from the same author or by reading outside your comfort zone. So picking up a completely new book from an author that you've never read or about a subject that you've never read about before either. By staying engaged with what we're reading, we are constantly discovering new things and constantly discovering new characters, ideas and concepts. All of these things may then spark an interest in us which we can then go and read more around and restart the cycle of gaining knowledge and reading for entertainment and for pleasure. By doing all of these things consistently, you're well on your way to becoming a better reader. Each point mentioned in this video is only a beginner and only a bit of guidance, so take what you need and go and make your own habits about how to become a better reader. Ultimately, you need to do whatever works for you. If you have more pieces of advice for people who want to become a better reader, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear a few suggestions from everybody. If you made it this far into the video, then make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I will be back very soon with another video. Goodbye.